good everybody fair shit vlogs here and today we have a car review for you guys the 2020 um what's it called ford escape and it's courtesy of village ford as you can see right here it's a 2020 ford escape village ford right here if i can get it out and there's the key lock unlock panic and there's no trunk button on this, but um, this is um, what's it called? Here we have headlights on this car, and the Ford logo with the new look on this car. If I can adjust this, all right. I'm gonna make this quick. I'm sorry. You have Continental wheels. I have no idea what kind of wheels they are. Looks like they're pro. Uh, contact, whatever that means. This vehicle is capable of all-wheel drive, intelligent all-wheel drive. And you have the SC, it's a, what's it called? SC Ford Edge, a Ford Escape, sorry. And it has EcoBoost all-wheel drive. Let's pop the trunk for you. And the trunk is a decent size, as you can see, it's pretty big. Guys, sorry I'm talking like that. There's people all around me right now in this parking lot. I don't want to be here right now. You got a 12-volt outlet in the back. You got uh, hooks for whatever you want cargo in that. You got other stuff here. You got a light. You got this wheel. This uh, spare tire. Anti-theft wheel locks. That thing for the gas cap. Whatever you want to call it. What's it called? Let's um, pop the hood for you. Let's see how that looks. If I can get in. Just pop the hood right here. One, two. And this car has a lock. So look. If you put your hand on there, it opens. And if you tap it, well, if it works. You just tap this and it locks the car. And then we open the hood. It's raining out here today. Here's the hood. Let me set this down. If I can do this with one hand. Hold on guys, give me a second. I need to open this up. Put this in here. Let's just go right here. I think it goes right there. It doesn't say where it goes. This thing is right here. Where does it go? It doesn't go here. Yeah, it doesn't go there. Hmm. It goes right here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright guys, this is not working. Right there, keep it okay. So, we have the EcoBoost engine, the Ford EcoBoost. I don't know how much horsepower this puts out, but probably like 250, 200 to 300 horsepower max, I believe. We have the vents here for the um, what's it called? Um, you have the vents for the defrost windows for the top in the engine. All right, enough with the engine, let's close this. Just back, there it goes. All right. You got a um, blind spot and you have, um, you, have, you can't see it, well, hold on, it's raining, that's where. You have a blind spot and you have cross path det detection, whatever it's called. Before, um, if a car is in your blind spot, it'll know if there's a car in your blind spot. It'll let you know if it won't let you merge lanes if you're merging, whatever. And now you have um, the key again. Now we're getting in. Close the door. All right, guys, this is the new Ford Escape. We're gonna turn it on for you. 
the new gauges here. You have um, mile per hour, my my view. You have driver assist. As I said, it has blind spot and cross path detection. You have um, what's it called? You have um can't focus right now you have in this audio section you have um phone you have information you have trip one yeah we need gas it's on 59 the empty you have the gauge clusters you have the fuel the engine all uh, cooling heat mile per hour this is the inside this nice uh, material whatever it's called some good speakers you have this new knob shifting knob right here you have this park automatic parking brake see that brake on brake off you have this automatic mode which i do not know what this does exactly this probably does when you're in a uh, stop sign or whatever or a red light it probably shuts the, and breaks it for yourself it breaks the car for yourself so that way when it breaks the car for yourself you don't have to keep pushing the brake at the light and it keep and then when you uh, push the gas it turns it moves the car so this is your auto stop engine auto stop when you're at a light it shuts the engine off when you at a complete stop you just activated it and this is your um settings for your drive mode this is normal and then you got eco and you got sport and then you got slippery for this condition right here. As you can see, it's raining. And then you got snow and deep snow and sand, which is for, I don't know why it turns off traction control when it's in that mode, but <clears throat> that's for if in Michigan, like if it's snowing hard and it's deep snow on the floor, then you can um, drive in it well. I do not understand why they keep traction control off for that, but that it is what it is. We're gonna keep it in slippery now. It's so wet outside, and here you got your um navigation. You got Apple CarPlay, your Ford Sync. You got um my Bluetooth connected to this video. It's okay. We'll figure it out. You got Apple CarPlay. You got Sync. You got iPhone. There's my iPhone. Home. That's the navigation. You don't have navigation on here because you have Apple. You can get Apple CarPlay. Here you got your heating cooled, you got your heated seats, as you can see for both driver and passenger. And then you got your defrost, as we were talking about earlier, AC, um, whatever to circulate the air. Um, you have this for the up top of your chest, and then you have lower for your feet. And we're gonna turn this off. Got your hazards, I'll show you that in a minute outside. You got your play, rewind, forward, and you got your whatever this does. All well, this shows the time. It turns off the screen for you. If you don't want to see the screen, I don't. I think this is a 10-inch screen, I believe. Looks like a nine and a half. It turns off the screen. This is for you muting your volume. Here you got unlock, lock. Um, this is uh the lock the passenger window. All the other windows. This is your you know, mirrors. Set your mirrors. <clears throat> you're up and down some windows all up you have to hold it up all the way in the downs all the way automatic see and then you got the same for the driver's side i mean the passenger side down automatic it's not automatic actually for the driver's the passenger side it's not automatic either way in the back you don't have the same thing it's all manual you just have to push the button up and down <clears throat> Here you have your turning signal, right, left. You got lane keep assist, which means right here where that um, car is on the lane, it keeps you in the lane if you need to. You got your high beams. You got your mute button on the steering wheel. You got your mute button. You got your, um, volume up your volume down and your mute sorry here you got your bluetooth here you got your backtrack forward track 
and your windshield wipers adjustments and this is for the back let me adjust that for you guys i'm using my iphone to record guys it's easier for me and here you have the automatic high beam and your lights as you can see and you have your um lights automatic and then your whatever this is i don't know what that is it's your lights also and you got no lights at all so we're going to keep it on automatic here you have the dimming display in the car i like to keep it low and at night but it's so it doesn't um bright my it doesn't what's it called um light up my face but it's going to be too bright when you're driving at the rear view mirror there i am we got the um a sunglass holder put something in there whatever you want lights your led not bad for a ford and you got the led lights actually are they led no they're not they look led i'm not sure here you got the mirror the lights here what's good everybody got a microphone got a you don't have it on this side you have a whatever this thing is airbags seats the seats are pretty nice in this car they're nice um padded they're um like have a design on them they're nice not bad seats here you got the glove box and that's about it for the front almost and there's a usb here for carplay a 12 volt power outlet some storage right here you can put parking emergency parking brake here on the hill couple there's two couple of this you got another USB-C outlet here for your um, Apple CarPlay. If you have a new iPhone, you can plug in your USB-C cord and to lightning. You got a storage pocket right here. You got some leather, leather on the outside. You got this. I don't know what this thing, this groove is for. You got some cup holders here. Storage, speaker, gas, brake. You got the same thing. There's your inside. Pretty good room in here. I'm six foot and I have the seat not all the way back, so... We're about to get in the back and show you guys what's uh, what's up with this car. If I can find the key where I put it right here. So um, let's turn it off. You got to push the start too, as you can see. Turn it off. Now we're stepping in the back. This is a gas can. I forgot to show you guys this. It's on the left side of the car. I had an issue opening this. I thought you opened it from here or here, but actually you open it in the middle. You got the back seats. And this is probably, I'm six foot, guys. As you can see, I'm six foot, and I fit back here pretty well. But the seats kind of almost to the back, and I'm not bad. It's like a fits good. But when I was in my friend's Range Rover the other day, it was kind of tight. So this is actually a bit decent size. Actually, you get a little small bump here, um, transmission hump. You got the USB C and USB to A uh, for your phones to charge. You have the heat vents in here. You got the same design with the seats and the clothes and the armrest and the handle. Same design here. And this headrest is low. Adjust it up. And you can adjust it down too. Where's the button on the back? You can see the button is right here. The button. You guys can't see it well, but there's a button right here. All right. There's a button. There you go. And there's no sunroof in this car, but then when you probably can get one. This is the LEDs again. Your um, whatever the hell this is called, I don't know. And then you got your armrest in the back with a couple of a couple of those here. Then you got your seatbelts. One, two, and three. There's a decent amount of room in here, honestly. In the back, really good amount of room, guys. And yeah, that's about it. Let me show you guys the hazards and we'll be on our way. So the hazards, it stopped raining a little. A little bit stopped raining, but. So I'm going to right now turn on the hazards. The horn, I'm not going to honk it right now. But the hazards on the car. And then you have hazards. You barely can see them. It's bright out, but. That's the front how it looks. You got the grill right here. Nice and grill. Whatever you want to call it for the front grill. You got your door handle. All doors come with, except the back two. You can unlock and unlock it with here. And the hazards on the back of the car. It's pretty decent. 
break for um, the the conditions we're in right now. We got a nice one show, decent amount of um, view, review. Uh, so you can see there's a brake plate. I think you got your brake plate here. You got your um, antenna. You got your wiper. Ford badging escape, the new escape design. You got village Ford. You got your dual exhaust tip, tips, dual exhaust tips. And then you got, you guys can get silver trim around here. So be a decent amount of Ford, guys. It's a good Ford. Do these part fold? No, they do not. They are manual fold. See that? They fold manually. And last thing we're going to look at is the all right, just an EcoBoost all-wheel drive, as you can see here. EcoBoost all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's about it. So, guys, thank you for. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, one last thing. There's this keypad here for um, keyless entry. You can keep your key in the car and tap it and put the code. I do not know. I do not know the code to this keypad. So don't ask me. I really don't know the code because I don't know what, what the code is. Honestly. So, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Sorry, it was kind of a dumb video. I was nervous. All these people are in this parking lot here. As you can see, they're just sitting down doing whatever they want. Just sitting in their cars, relaxing. And there's people walking on the track. Man, I'm sick, man. <clears throat> so, guys, hope you enjoy. Oh, last thing. I forgot. You have L for, like, if you're on a hill. You just push it. And that's it. And you have your passenger airbag on, off, on. And yeah, let's get that revving go, revin real fast. Rev the engine. Hold on, let's put the camera in the back and rev the engine for you. Because, why not? Why not, guys? So we put the camera right here. What's going on? That's a nice try to pop this. Are you ready? good enough and that's the engine it's not that loud it's not supposed to be loud it's an eco boost for uh, focus edge Ford focus i said Ford edge it's a Ford escape guys Ford escape the horn and that's about it um hope you guys enjoy the video please like comment share subscribe and i'll keep you guys updated on what car i'm gonna get soon i got ideas i'm gonna get two first i gotta get this one first and then the next one is gonna be something else for us uh for a reason i'm getting it for a reason because um i'm getting two cars first i'm getting a, the sports car i really want and then i'm gonna get the um car i need so that way i can't drive so i can't drive the sports car in the winter so i'm gonna get something in the winter to drive but that's in the future so guys stay tuned hope you guys like the video enjoy it please like comment share subscribe it's fair share vlogs and i'm out i'll see you guys later